Okay, hi student. Today we see you again for the lesson. Okay, today lesson is uh, still microorganism, but this one microorganism is uh, part two. Okay, we still not yet finished, so we continue for the lesson. So I just want the student to answer me. That means you can listen me or not. Okay, okay, I wait your answer. So you can listen me. Okay, hi Nurin. Okay, it turn high. So, so you can listen me or not? Okay, can I jala? <clears throat> okay. So that mean uh, I want to start my lesson. So there's a world of the microorganism. There's a part two. Okay, let's see what we need to continue. Okay, we continue with the uh, I think two more already. Two, two more only for the microorganism. That's a bacteria. So now we go, go through about the bacteria. Okay, five characteristics. Uh. First one still the size. Okay, let's see the size of the uh, bacteria. Okay, let's see first one. Bacteria are the unicell, okay, microorganism. Me, uh, the measure is a 0 0.2 micrometer. Micro means a negative uh, six. Negative six are very small already. Okay, until 10 of the micrometer. So bacteria that just can be seen under the high power of the light microscope. So normally the very small one, we're using the uh, microscope already. But this one can using the high power because you want to see more clear. So we're normally using the light microscope. But the virus, later we learn about the virus. Virus not only using the light microscope, they need to using the electron microscope because they will become smallest. Okay, so the bacteria and the other microorganisms, we're still using the light microscope. That means you can find out what's the shape of the bacteria. Okay, then we go to the next part. Okay, next one is about the shape, the shape of the bacteria. Okay, let's see the four types of the shape. Huh? Okay, the naming and also the classification of the bacteria, they are also based on the basic of the shape of the bacteria, which are, okay, we got four. First one is a spherical. Okay, for a spherical, another name we will call it a cocos. Lah. Okay, later we show about the shape. Okay, we, we see the name first. Okay, number two is spiral. Okay, you can say there's a spiral. Okay, number three, there's a rod shape. Okay, you also can say that there's a bacillus. And the last one is a comma. Comma is a vibrio shape. Okay, now we're going to see the example for the shape. Okay, so we're going to see the classification of the bacteria. Okay, first one, this one is a spirium. Okay, just like the S shape. Okay, they're just like the S, just like the thread. Okay, the thread, you make it become uh, not straight. Uh, become the curly okay they just like the curly shape okay then we go to the another one this one is a step to cocos they just like the spherical the circle one okay this one called cocos okay and the third one there's a rock shape this one is a bacillus okay and the last one the vibrio okay you can see behind they got one of the tail okay after that they got in front got one of the big of the head okay this one is a Vibrio. So the bacteria they separate by four different of the shape. Okay, what you need to memorize is the name Spirilla, Cocos, Bacillus, and also Vibrio. So this one is a four classified, okay, for the bacteria. Okay, then we go to the next part. We're going to see the basic structure of the bacteria. Okay, first one they say most of the bacteria they have the firm cell wall. Okay, the wall. Cell wall is a firm that give the shape and also support the bacteria. Okay, number two, the cell wall of the bacterium is made of the amino acid. Amino acid is a symbol of the protein. Okay, and also you can say that there's a polysaccharides. Saccharides means there's a, like the glucose, like the sugar. Okay, this one is a simple. Okay, after complex, we make it divided, become smaller. There's a polysaccharides. Okay, then number three, some of the bacteria have the capsules, okay, which will protect the cell wall. Okay, after that, some you have the five hay, okay, the structure we call it as a pile, which enable the bacteria to attach to the certain surfaces. Okay, then we got the last one, the tail. Okay, some of the bacteria, just like you see just now the vibrio, they got tail, is it? This one, the tail, we call it as a flagellum. 
okay they help the bacteria for their movement okay so this one or uh, i explained for the capsule i uh, explained for the pele and also fragilum now we're going to see the diagram okay example diagram for the bacteria okay this one is an example for the bacteria okay we got cell wall okay after that we got cell membrane okay we got genetic material okay after that we got cytoplasm okay this one is a flagellum so that means this one is help for the movement we got cryogen we got capsules okay so this is a structure for the bacteria okay so see be careful the structure the question when they just come out they want you to label okay then we go through to the next one okay this is another type of bacteria the structure is almost the same but this one they got uh you can see the pelly okay they got one the hair okay the tiny hair to come out this one is a pelly so they also got flagellum okay this one is another type for the bacteria the structure is uh, almost the same just a little bit got changes okay hi Dixon. okay attendance is later uh. attendance i will show you the google form later after this lesson that means you need to fill in the google form there are some of the questions you need to answer okay then we go to nutrition okay let's see the nutrition for the bacteria so everybody know nutrition for the microorganism is normally uh they cannot do the cannot make the own food is it just all the algae they got photosynthesis but the others cannot okay they will get the nutrients from the others okay from the others host so we're going to see the bacteria how to get the nutrition okay the bacteria some bacteria not all bacteria some bacteria they have the chlorophyll that means they can produce their own food but some of the bacteria there's a parasitic parasitic means they will stay stay at the horse after that they get the food from the horse that means the horse still alive huh? okay number two there's a saprophytic saprophytic means they get the food get the nutrient from the dead organism okay that means the organism already dead example the plant okay the plant the wood uh, they on the root on the uh, for in the forest that means they will stay on the surface of the wood after that they get the nutrient from there the one we call separate okay and now one parasitic means they get from the horse the plant still alive they stay at the body there after that they get the nutrients so this one is a, another type so that means bacteria can separate chlorophyll i think a little bit only lah. so you remember must remember, uh, remember the parasitic and also the saprophytic okay uh okay then we continue Okay, then next one sure is a habitat. Habitat means the place for the bacteria to stay. Okay, everybody know for the microorganism, they don't like the sunlight, is it? Just for the algae, they need the sunlight because they want to do the process for photosynthesis. So bacteria also same, they need the dark area. So from here, we're going to see some habitat for the bacteria. Okay, we got A. Okay, you found in the A, must have the water, soil, or some decaying of the organism or the material so they want to get the nutrient so they must stay at the decaying organism so do you have an for the bacteria okay after that we got method of the reproduction okay anybody here still remember the method of reproduction or the before that the microorganism you separate by two type okay anybody can mention here Okay, two type of the method reproduction. Okay, you just type inside the chat room, then I can see it. Okay, anybody want to try? Okay, we find a student. Got twenty nine students enter the chat room only. Still got many never entered it. Okay, anybody want to try? Method for reproduction. Budding, uh, budding is a uh, not type. Budding is example. So, Jala, try again. Budding is under, under what? You got two type. I know budding. Budding is a uh, one of the type of the reproduction. Another one is the conjugation. Is it? So, I want you to mention budding is under which type.
Okay, anybody can try? We start with A. A. Yes, correct. A section. Okay, another one is a? Okay, the answer from the dialog. A section. That's a one of the type. Another type, we call it as a? Okay, anybody? Jala already answered the first one, air sexual. So the others must be the? Okay, the A1 student, is it here? Okay, nobody answer. Okay, air sexual is a one type. So another type sure is a? Sexual, okay. So that means, uh, two method. There's a air section and also sexual. After that, inside the section and air section, that means we need to separate out some more the process. Okay. So the bacteria also same lah. They also including the air section and also the sexual. So we go and see the air section for the bacteria. What's that? Okay. So the bacteria produce the air sexually. That's a binary fission. Remember the binary fission? Binary fission means they split out, okay? Just like the mitosis. That means when starting is a parent, then the parent will split, okay? After that one is uh, same like the original. I mean, the daughter then just come out the same like the, uh, exactly what the parents have. So this one called binary fission. The never changes of the genetic. Okay, how about the sexually? Sexually by using the conjugation. Okay, when I say conjugation, they show sure genetic exchanges. Okay, now we're going to see the diagram. Okay, so this one is a binary fission, asexually reproduction. Okay, first one got parent cell, divide, okay, division for the genetic material. After that, uh, cytoplasm, last daughter cell to come out. You see the daughter cell and the parent cell should be exactly the same. Okay. I mean, this one process, actually, they're just using mitosis, okay? Then we go to the another part. Another part, sure, is a sexually. Okay, sexually means they're using the conjugation. Okay, let's see the conjugation. Okay, first one, they got plasmid, okay? After that, they got conjugation of the tube. This one is a chromosome. Okay, first one, formation of the conjugation tube. Okay, they got one formation. Okay, you can see another one. This one, right hand side, this one, they don't have any plasmid. Okay, so that means the first one, they need to transfer the genetic to create the new generation. So from here, they contact to each other. Okay, transfer the genetic material. So that means they start to transfer the genetic material from the plasmid. Okay, one train of the plasmid is transferred. Okay, so finally, the genetically identical daughter cell is produced. So that means this one is a, another genetic of the daughter cell. Okay, this one is a donor. This one is a receive. So this one, they're using the conjugation. Okay, remember, conjugation must have the transfer of the genetic material. Okay, so this one is a sexual production. Okay, they got special characteristic for the bacteria. We see what's a special. Okay, the special here. Okay, bacillus enteracid. Okay, enteracid. They form an endospore. That means they got one of the uh, one of the part we call endospore. What's the function for endospore? They want to withstand the extreme surrounding, such as a very hot or you say the cool places, drawn or food shortage. So that means this one endospore. They want to cover. They want to cover the bacteria. Okay, now we're going to see. Another function, endospore are spore. The name is inside of spore. They form in the bacteria cell and also have a strong protective coat. Okay, this one strong protective coat, they want to protect the bacteria. Lah. Now we're going to see the structure of the endospore. So this one is the endospore. Okay, so you can see the endospore including inside of spore. After that, they got protective coat. So these two things also want to cover, okay? To cover the whole bacteria. Okay, now we're going to see 
this protective code will be ruptured. Okay, what situation reproduct uh, this one protective code that will be spoiled? Why they will spoil? Why they will spoil? When the surrounding of the endospore become variable for glow. If they want to glow, so the protective code, uh, this one protective code, they will automatic spoil. They will open. Open, then the shape of the bacteria will become bigger. So that's why this one is a one of the part. Why the endospore, they will, uh, they will need to make it become destroyed. Okay, if nothing, you don't have any glow, the endospore, they want to cover the whole bacteria. So this situation only, the protective coat, they will rupture. Okay, when they just want to go. Okay, make the size become bigger. So this one is structure for the pore. This one is a protective coat. So that means this one is a whole structure for the endospore. This one is a special characteristic for the bacteria only. The others don't have. Okay, then we go to the, this allow the germination to form the new bacteria because they glow already. So they will form another new bacteria. Okay, so the bacteria we finish for the five characteristic. Now we go to the last one. There's some viruses. Okay, viruses, everybody know. That's a very dangerous. Okay, from the five, from the microorganism, this one is a very, very, very small of the microorganism. Okay, after that, we're going to see where they get the nutrients. That's a very, very dangerous thing. They get the nutrients from everywhere. Okay, your body also can. Then you can see they don't have any characteristic like the before microorganism. Okay, we're going to see what's special. Eh? Okay, the size, very, very smallest. Then around how many? Less than 0 0.5 micrometer. Micro is a 60 in front, you know, 0 0.006. Okay, 60 you go to count. This one is less than. So that's why they just only can see under the electron microscope. That means the light microscope still cannot. They need to use the electron. Okay, this one is a diagram for the electron microscope. Okay, then we're going to see the shape. Uh, you can see the shape. So many shapes. Okay, different shape and also different size. Okay, now we're going to we're going to find out why it's the special for the shape. <clears throat> Okay, different of the viruses, they got different of the shape, such as a spherical. Okay, you see the shape for the HIV, hepatitis. Uh, this one, round one, is a spherical. Okay, the helix. Okay, helix, I think not here. You can see this part. Uh, this part got turning just like the rod. Okay, rod got the uh, track like turning, just like the nail. Uh, that one is a helix. After that, we got polyhedral. Polyhedral, just like the polygon shape. Uh, this one is a polyhedral. Last one, we got complex. Complex means mix. The combination with the helix and also polyhedral, that means this one. This one, we call it complex. Okay? Bacterial bridge. This one is a complex shape. So from here, from your textbook, they also got introduced a four, a four of the shapes. So this one is a spherical. You can see there's a circle. After that, inside got RNA. Then after that, got protein layer also. Okay, this one's a helix. So the helix just like the rod shape. Lah. Inside also got RNA. After that, got protein layer. Okay, then this one is a polyhedral, just like the polygon shape. Also got protein layer, but this one inside is a DNA. So I don't want DNA, I don't want RNA. There's a protector by the protein layer. Okay, and the last one is a complex. Complex means the combination with the helix and also the polyhedral. Okay, this one we call it bacterial bridge. Okay, so this one is a four type of the shape of the virus. Okay, remember the name and also remember the shape. Okay, then we go to the next part. <clears throat> so this one's a basic of the structure. So just now I show already basic of the structure for the virus. Sure got protein layer. Is it? Because everyone also got protein layer. After that, they must have the DNA. Or sometimes they got RNA. Okay, now we go to explain for the basic structure. Okay, virus make of the nuclear acid trap. Okay, you can say deoxyribonucleic. Okay, deoxyribonucleic acid, we call it DNA. 
okay, deoxy ribonucleic acid. That's a DNA. So another one is a RNA, is it? RNA is a ribonucleic acid. That's a RNA, which are protected by the uh, protein layer. So that means they all will inside the protein layer, covered by the protein layer. Okay, this protein layer, we also can call it as a capsid. Capsid, determine the shape of the virus. Okay, protein layer, you can call it as a capsid, another name. Okay, now you can see, oh, this one's so cute, the virus. Okay, we see the special characteristic for the virus. Okay, virus do not have living characteristic, okay, outside their host. Okay, so from here, because they do not have the res respire, they no need breathe one. After that, they no need excrete, perkumohan, they also no need. After that, glow also no need. And also respond towards to the stimulus also no need. So that means, why does you cannot say they're just like the microorganism? They're special. They no need respire one. They no need excrete. They also no need to grow. Okay? Then the virus do not have also living, uh, living place. They just stay at the horse only. Then after that, virus only reproduce by infecting the cell. Okay? That means they want to reproduce, they must infecting the cell from their horse such as a bacteria, animal, and also plants. You also can say for human being. So that means they're just in your body, they will automatically produce more and more virus. Okay? They no need to eat. Okay? And also no need for the respire. And no need excrete also. So that means they can stay longer in your body. Okay, now we're going to see how they stay longer, huh? Okay, reproduction, the sequence of the uh, bacterial page. That's uh, the shape that combine one. Uh, by infecting the host cell, which are the bacterium. Okay, let's see here. Okay, first one, this one is a bacterium in your body. Our body sure got the bacterium. That's a natural flora. Okay, before that, learn natural flora in your body. That one is a uh, mamma already in your body. That's a good bacteria. Okay, stay in your body, but never bring any any uh, affected lah. so this one bacterium in your body when the virus just enter your body the virus that will attach itself to the surface of the host cell such as a bacterial cell that we go in okay when it's step two this one is your dna for the bacterium now the genetic material from the virus that will go in the bacterium so the virus that will inject the genetic material that the DNA into the bacterial cell, they will drop the bacteria. Okay, sorry, they will drop the DNA into the bacterial cell. Okay, now after drop, you see what happened. Okay, after drop, now you can see number three: the genetic material of the virus that take control the bacterial cell. Now they can control your bacterial cell and also divide and also uses the material in the bacterial cell to build the protein layer. So that means they just go in, drop the uh, drop the DNA, go in the uh, bacteria. After that, they want to build protein layer. Okay? They get all the uh, material, all the DNA from your bacteria, then they build another protein layer. So that means they want to build another virus. Lah. That's why they step by step to build. Okay, number four, the number of the new viruses produced. Because they get protein layer already, that means they can build another new member of the virus. So after that, they will increase gradually, okay, more and more. Number five, the new viruses, when they build more and more already, now this one virus, they, get, they can go to find another bacterium in your body. So that means it's very, very dangerous, you know, in your body. That means one of the bacterium can hurt, the others, they will slowly and slowly, the virus will go to fight that. Okay, so this one is a virus, how they do the reproduction in the horse. Okay, don't care the animal, don't care the human being, don't care about the plants. Okay, 
So that means the suitable uh, temperature for the virus to reproductive, there's a 30, 30, how many? 37 degrees Celsius. So that means our body is a good place for the virus to stay. Okay, so this one is the step, how the virus produce a new member. Okay, and also they no need to get any nutrient. They just go to bacterium in your body, then they drop. They drop the genetic code down, DNA. After that, they go to build the layer. After build the layer, they form the new member. After that, the new member will go to fight another bacterium in your body. Okay, so this one is a step, how the virus do become more and more. Okay, so my presentation for the bacteria and also virus already finished. Okay, now I want you to do some of the activity. So you need to fast to type inside the chat room. We're going to see your answer is correct or not. Okay, let's see the first activity, the first question. Okay, characteristic of the microorganism that live in the bright area. Can you name the type of the microorganism? Okay. This one is a question, so you need to type. You give me the type of the microorganism. Okay, I don't want the name. I want the type only. That means they stay at the bright areas. Okay, anybody can write the answer. Okay, we just wait your answer, huh? You just write inside the chat room. Then I go to pin. You say your answer correct or not. Okay. They can lie, they can live in the bright area. Okay, we got five microorganisms. Which one we can stay at the bright areas? Okay, Jala, no need to put question mark. We will just answer, that's the answer already. Okay, the others, besides Jala, the other, is it you on the screen or not? If you in front of the screen, in front of the YouTube screen, then you just type. Okay, Pang uh, Minyao, uh, bacteria, they don't want the bright area because I say some will got chlorophyll, the others most is don't have the chlorophyll. So from here, the answer correct from the Jala also correct. Then the Muhammad Shafiq also correct. There's a algae. Okay, the answer is a algae because algae, they got chlorophyll. Okay, they don't have any parasitic and also the uh, saprophytic, no. They're straightforward. They want to get the sunlight to make the food, own food by using photosynthesis. Okay. Uh, Nurin, mm, virus, no. Virus don't want the bright one. They want to stay inside your body. Your body will go bright. Okay. Don't simply go and hunt them. The microorganism come out. Huh? So the answer just algae. Okay. Then we go to the next question. Okay, only reproduce in horse cell. Name the type of the microorganism. They only want to reproduce in the horse cell. They mean outside they don't want. They want in your body only. Okay, you tell me this one is what type of the microorganism. Okay, they just want reproduce for your body, inside your body. Okay, the horse cell. Okay, they mean they want to find a live one. Ah. The cell must be a live one. They don't want Sudan Mati when you don't want. They want a live one. So what is that? What is the microorganism? Okay, the answer get ready. Okay, from here, Aina. Okay, Tiojusin. Okay, gonna pin the answer from the uh Texan. Okay, Texan, the answer is viruses. Okay, so we're gonna check. Yes, there's a virus. Okay, they want to stay inside the horse cell. Okay, then we go to third one. Okay, Leong Yi Ching also correct. Nu Idayu also correct. Okay, now we go to the third question. Okay, you see it. This one is a diagram for the microorganism. Can you name the type of this microorganism? I want to know the type. I don't want the name. Okay, type. What's the type? Uh, when you see the shape, then you know what is that. Lah. Okay, this one is a... Uh, okay, anybody know? Uh, 
file your bow, file your textbook, go to file out. This one is under what microorganism? Okay, anybody? Virus? No, Adrian. Adrian, you answered just now question, is it? Okay, we get the answer for the no Adavia. Okay, Leon also answered already. So everybody also answered the same. Okay, the answer is Aina. Okay, Aina, give me the answer. It's a Potozoa. So we're going to check is it Potozoa or not? Yes, that's a Potozoa. So this one, the name is an Amoeba. Amoeba is under Potozoa. Okay, now we go to the next one. Okay, this one is a method of the reproductive. Air sexually is using budding. Ah, uh, anybody can answer. Name the type of the fungi. That means they want the name. Okay, they do want microorganism. They told you already the microorganism is a fungi. Okay, they say the air sexually is a budding. Uh, this one just now the tiala already answered budding. Okay, no, they never asked about bacteria, Noreen. They asked about the name of the uh, fungi. Okay, fungi, we got so many, is it? So which one the air sexually by using body? Okay, we get the answer for we want. Okay, we will answer this. Uh, Minya also yes. We want also yes. The Aina also yes. Okay, we go to check. Yes, that's a yes. Okay, yes, they use it as actually. That's a body. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, can you see the shape? Can you name this one the shape of the virus? Okay, they told you this one virus already. Okay, they told you virus. Then after that, they want to know this shape we call what name? Okay, what's the name for this one shape? Uh, faster, go and find the textbook. How to spelling the name for this one shape? Um, Adavia, not muco. Huh? Just now the one is a yeast. Muco is using the uh, sexually. Okay. Okay, we get the answer from the Chala. Chala, that's a polyhedro. Polyhedro, just like a polygon shape. Okay, so this one is a shape for the viruses, polyhedro. Okay, then we go to the last question. Okay, the last question. Okay, this one. Can you name the type of the microorganism? This one is what type? Yeah, this one is under what type? Okay, anybody can answer this one, the type? I don't want the name. I want the type only. Okay, yeah, Mingyang, you are correct. The answer is viruses. Okay, so we put the answer for the Mingyang. That's a viruses. Okay, so this one is the first activity. So we finished already. So that means the students still understand uh, what we're talking about, the um, the microorganism. Okay, eh? so now we go to see the next part. Okay, now is today's special. Uh, what's the special today? Eh? Okay, the today's special must good for you. <clears throat> First, you need to draw. Okay, listen, uh, what you need to draw? This one, your homework special. Uh? Draw the four different shapes of the bacteria and also label. The one is your textbook, page 12. Okay, four different shapes. Uh, just now I mentioned already. Uh, Spirium, Caucus, Bacillus, we got Vibrio. So that means you need to draw the shape. After that, you label the name. <coughs> okay, second one. You need to draw the basic structure of the bacterium. Okay, just now I show you the structure, is it? In your textbook also got. Okay, after you draw the structure, you need to label lah. Label the flagellum, label the cell wall, cell wall. After that, inside the genetic material, then you need to label. They want exactly in your textbook. There's a page 12. Okay, number three. You need to draw the four different shapes of the viruses. Okay, page 14. We got polyhedro. After that, we got combined. We got helix. So that means you need to draw the four different shapes. After that, you need to label the name. Okay? So just 
Easy only, is it, for drawing? Okay, then we continue to the next special. Okay, this one also in your textbook. That's an experiment 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, this one experiment, you cannot do anything because you're not in the school. Okay, but I want you to copy the uh, whole report. Okay, you need to copy the whole report. This one, they just want to compare the growth of the bacteria or the sterile nutrient agar has been unwashed finger. That means you use your finger, you go to touch. Another one, the finger already washed by the water, then you go to touch. Another one is a finger has been washed in the, by using the soap and also the water. Okay, <clears throat> you go to wash. After that, you go to touch. Then they want to see what's the difference. Okay, you copy all the things already. Just the table, uh, you empty like because we never do experiment, is it? You just empty the table. Then you need to copy the question also. After copy, you need to answer. They ask you why the nutrient alga petrine dishes that's the right. Then you explain why the ventry dishes that's keep in this condition. Okay, cover and lead. Inverter keep into the dark cupboard. Why they want to do like this? Okay, so that means you need to copy the question one until five, then you need to answer it. So this one we will discuss on the next lesson. Okay, eh? so this all thing already inside your textbook. You just copy the question and also the whole report. Okay, just the table you empty first. After we discussion, that means you know how to fill in the table. Okay, then the question, you also can write your answer already. Okay, so you can write your answer by using your pencil. If you're not, uh, not confirm the answer, like you just write in your pencil. Then after we discuss, that means you change it, you mark it. Okay, so from here, we got special or not? Uh? So some more. Okay, no, your special is finished already. So that means the next lesson, I will discuss just now the question and also the factor. They will affect the glow of the microorganism. So that means our lesson just until here only. So the student not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. So that means the next lesson, they will automatically to remind you to enter my class. Okay, yeah? so the student okay, can listen. Eh? So one more thing to tell you, don't leave first. Eh? I want more thing to tell you. You need to attend the Google form. You need to log in the Google form to fill in some of the question. Okay, one of the question is, you need to attend my class. Then I will tell you the code. Okay, listen uh, carefully, uh, the code. Uh, later, you need to answer. The code is a size 2021. Okay, size, capital letter. S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. Then you type the number 2021. Okay, no spacing. Uh, straightforward, continue. Size 2021. Sign is a capital letter in BI version, not BM version. Okay, I repeat, S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E, 2021. That one is your code to answer the Google form. Okay, so that means the Google form is today attendance for the 5A1 and also 5A2. Okay, so our class just until here only. So that means uh, thank you for your attendance. Okay, thank you for yours. Uh, attend my lesson. Okay, and also hopefully you will understand what I'm talking about. Because MCO we cannot see you anymore. We don't know when you come to school. So that means we just can using the internet, online, uh, chatting with you like this only. Okay, so our class just until here. Lah. So thank you for watching. Please go to Google Form to answer the question. Okay, thank you. Bye.